hello guys and welcome back. I know it has been a very long time since we have seen each other face to face like this. A lot of us are stuck at home because there's this terrible virulent virus sweeping across the entire globe and basically our responsibility as citizens who care about other people is to stay at home so that we don't get sick and we don't accidentally infect other people who could get really sick and end up needing more ICU beds and ventilators than are available on the planet. So I thought today would be the perfect day to make my glorious return to YouTube to talk to you guys about how I am staying sane and dare I say, maybe even healthy and a little bit happy at home while I'm on quarantine. I'm gonna talk to you guys about how I'm managing to continue to eat healthy. I'm gonna talk to you about how I'm still managing to get some exercise, how I am managing my stress reduction, cause it's an issue y'all, and how I'm keeping myself and the little ones entertained. By little ones, I of course mean human children. My fur children are just <laughs> incredibly stoked to have me home 24 7. So first of all you guys hopefully have taken my lead over the last uh, few years and started to bulk buy some goods because I tell you what I have never been more relieved in my entire life to have 200 pounds of beans in my house at one time. I'm solid, I don't have to go to Target. I do most of my bulk buying of beans and whole grains from my local health food store. Um, every single like small health food store or co-op that I've ever visited or inquired at have programs where you can buy in bulk like 25 or 50 pound bags of beans or whole grains or whatever is in their bulk bins and you can buy just an entire bag of it and then you get a pretty good discount when you do that. So I've been doing that for years. I made another order a few days ago because the health food store is still open. They're still getting their orders. So I think now would be a great time for anyone who is considering buying in bulk to contact, reach out to their local stores and see if that's possible for them. Especially because we don't necessarily know what's gonna be happening over the next, you know, three, six, 18 months of our lives. And um, you can't go wrong with having extra beans in the house. Additionally, you guys know that I belong to a CSA, Community Supported Agriculture Delivery Program, where one of my local farmers brings me by a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables every single week, and it is such a freaking blessing, and I am so grateful to them that they are still doing that through this crisis. I mean, really, it's just made the transition, like, pretty darn seamless. Since we're at home and have time to explore websites and cold call people, now might be a great time to see if there's a CSA program accepting new applicants in your area right now. And of course, at this point in my life, I've had about 10 years of practice at a whole plant food, vegan, plant-based, whatever you wanna call it, kind of diet. So I have a lot of expertise. I have a lot of great habits built up. I have a lot of experience that I can fall on right now when I'm like stressed out and a little frazzled and trying to figure out how to feed myself. But I understand that maybe not everybody does because there are a lot of newbies or people who just aren't used to like being at home and stuff. But now is a great time to explore ways to feed ourselves in really healthy ways. Fortunately, we do have the time. That's kind of a silver lining of all this. Anyway, there is a new meal planner on the block and you guys, this one is scientifically based and free. My two favorite things in the world, science and free stuff. It is called the Scientific Meal Planner and it is put out by an amazing soul, Daniel, who has made his creation available to all of us for free. And he has based this meal planner off of the Daily Dozen recommendations. You can go to the website, I will link it down below, sign up for free, it takes a couple seconds. You decide um, how many calories you wanna eat, how many people um, you, you are cooking for, and whether or not you wanna do like meal prep, or if you want to cook every single day and do different dishes. Of course, there are also options to like replace or change out certain recipes, and the meal planner use, utilizes recipes from um, other whole plant food bloggers and such. It's a beautiful thing. One of my favorite things about the Scientific Meal Planner is that you can look at the day's recap and then it gives you this really cool visual explanation of how many of the daily, der daily dozen, how many of the daily dozen servings 
were fulfilled that day by the meal plan. That gives you the option to fill in any gaps that you see. And of course, the actual Daily Dozen app that Dr. Greger puts out is still free and it's still amazing and it incorporates a lot of information from his new book, How Not to Diet, which is a great way to spend your quarantine. So that is how I am managing to feed myself. Now we can go on to physical exercise. Now, I know I'm gonna get a lot of angry comments down below because um, what I'm doing is not cheap, definitely not free. Earlier this year, around New Year's, but it had nothing to do with that, I decided to drink the Kool-Aid and I signed up for Peloton. And I really, really wanted a Peloton bike, but every time I looked at the price tag, I threw up a little bit. Not a lot, but like enough for it to be a problem. So I tracked down a much, much cheaper indoor spin bike we don't have to get into details right now unless you want them. I will leave a link down below for the bike that I got. But anyway, I got myself an indoor spin bike because I was tired of my cardio potential being reliant on the weather outside because I live in Hilo, Hawaii. It's a rainforest. Sometimes it rains for like three to six months without stopping. And then of course, if it's not raining, it's blazing and the UV index is 11 by 9 a.m. So anyway, I got the bike and I signed up for a Peloton free trial, which right now, because of the COVID-19 shenanigans, you can get a 90 day free trial of the Peloton app. I highly recommend it. So I do the cycling classes. They also have strength training classes. They have yoga, um, like hit cardio, treadmill classes, but I don't like treadmills. Though yes, I do really want the Peloton treadmill. But every time I look at that, I throw up a lot, like, enough for it to be a problem. Anyway, Peloton isn't paying me. I'm actually paying them to now promote them. I'm like determined to put myself out of business. I'm not saying the Peloton is your only option. There are tons of fitness at home workout apps that I'm sure are great. I, ha I just haven't used them. And I've seen a huge uptick in amazing Instagram fitness people who have been putting up tons of free at-home workouts with either just body weight or light weights or just basic tools. So whatever you gotta do, however you choose, just keep your body moving and keep getting a good sweat every day because it is so good for you. Not just physically, but also mentally. And I have to say that's one of the most important benefits of, the, of using the Peloton app. And I'm sure it's the same with like other at-home workout apps, but I have been really leaning on exercise to get me through a really stressful time in my life. You guys know my husband Levi was injured back in September at work and it has, it, it's been trying. Like that's most of the reason why I took a big step back from YouTube is because I just, I just can't handle the stress of both at the same time. And that was a big reason why I decided to invest in the bike and the app is so I can just get on that bike for like half an hour or 45 minutes every day and just think about that. I don't have to think about anything else or how my life is falling apart or how the world is falling apart or whether or not we're all gonna get through this. I just sweat it out for a little bit and I inevitably feel better and more grounded and more capable after the fact. And I think that about covers exercise, and I think we kind of touched on stress management too. Another way I have also always effectively managed my stress from childhood until uh, this viral apocalypse has been to expose myself to the soothing principles of others. And I do that through books and nowadays through like podcasts and stuff. Eloquent, Lillian. So eloquent. So at this point, I know that uh, most of the population of the world doesn't have an income and then all of the libraries are closed, but I just want to remind everyone that your library is on an app, probably. So there are several different apps. I use the Libby app, but someone else told me about Cloud Library and Hoosey? Was it Hoosel? Hoobie? Hoorah? Anyway, I'm gonna link all three that I know about down below, but you just put in your library card and you get instant access to ebooks and audiobooks. I use Libby. I love Libby since I signed up for it like two years ago. I think I've listened to uh, approximately 400 audiobooks for free. Cheers. <laughs>
And a lot of those were scientifically based audiobooks. Science and free stuff coming together. Now, of course, another source of scientific free things are podcasts. One that is especially pertinent in this day and age, I think, is the Self Work Podcast. The host, Margaret, I think her name is, is incredible. She um, also wrote a book called Perfectly Hidden Depression, which I am like super vibing with. Girl, you nailed it. Thank you. But her podcast is incredible. It's such a great resource and her voice is so soothing. Oh, it's so nice. It's the perfect thing to listen to when you're at home freaking the fuck out about a virus. I also really enjoy the Polyvagal podcast. Uh, the host, Justin, and his co-host, Mercedes, they do a great job talking about the polyvagal theory and regulating your nervous system, which I think is also really important conversations to have at this point in history when everyone's nervous system is like freaking out a little bit. And so um, using the polyvagal framework, we can kind of understand why is my nervous system freaking out? What can I do about it? And how is my nervous system freaking out going to affect my ability to have relationships and interact with other people, especially when we are at home in very close quarters with the people that we supposedly love, but maybe we can't remember anymore why we ever loved them because we've been looking at them for like a week straight. Totally theoretical postulation. Uh, also, not that most of the world doesn't know at this point, but Brene Brown just started a podcast, and um, you guys know how I feel about Brene Brown. For more like nutrition-based information or plant-based information, I really enjoy the Plant Proof podcast. I think Simon, the host, does an incredible job bringing on amazing guests and highlighting really important information about how to thrive on a plant-based diet. So definitely check that one out. Um, I really like the exam room, the exam room podcast. It's put out by the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. Spot on really simple and digestible information for your average person. I also cannot say enough good things about Danielle Bolaro's podcast, Nutrition Rounds. Danielle is a board certified physician, so she is currently on the front lines dealing with the COVID-19 crisis and uh, she's getting slammed, but she's doing a really, really good job still being present, especially on Instagram where I've seen her most and advocating for the importance of people taking this virus outbreak seriously, social distancing, staying home, self-isolating, quarantine, lockdown it's so important but anyway since we're at home following her recommendations um her podcast is an incredible source of very scientific and very free information as far as podcast goes i also enjoy eat for the planet with nil zacharias he leaves me feeling really hopeful about the future for the world and for animals and, and the animals that we choose to eat. After listening to a lot of what he's produced, I just, I feel like the world could really move in a very positive direction in which animal agriculture is just no longer a thing. And not because people make more ethical choices, but just because it won't be economical anymore. And then hopefully once animal agriculture and like concentrated animal feeding operations aren't a thing anymore, uh, hopefully we won't have outbreaks like COVID-19, which came from animals that we eat, like many of the infectious diseases that humans have to deal with. Now I, like anyone else, especially anyone who like exercises, takes care of themselves, is an attentive spouse, and parent and or step parent get to the end of my day and um, I'm just a little bit pooped and I just want to like chill out and relax and maybe turn the TV on for a bit. However, I do get kind of tired of mindless drivel being shoveled into my eyeballs by the likes of Netflix or Hulu, but I do love high quality programming, so I do have a solution. PBS. Yeah, yeah, PBS has an app, and if you make a donation of like $5 a month or $60 a year, I went ahead and threw them 60 bucks because it's public broadcasting, you get access to PBS Passport, and you can watch like literally entire days worth 
of Nature and Nova and a bunch of their other shows. So if your kids are stuck at home all day and you don't really want them like glued to cartoons or crap on Netflix, I would highly recommend the PBS Passport. Okay guys, anyway, since this took me um, like a day and a half longer than I thought it would, I'm actually pretty hungry. guys like my new hat? It's not dandruff, it's oranges, I swear. Okay, so this is my lunch. I did technically make all of this just with me in mind, but then about halfway through I remembered that there were other people home, so I decided to offer them some, and they did take me up on the offer. Here we are. I have some papayas, bananas, then I made like a sweet-ish chickpea thing with chickpeas, plain chickpeas, cooked obviously, duh, we're all adults here. Cinnamon, ginger, dried pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and then I put some barberries on top, which might be like a little bit of an off choice for this mixture. So sour. So this will be lunch, and I'll probably see you guys later. I won't cut you off at this point. So uh, we'll check in, take care. Okay, my gorgeous dinner. I can smell the sriracha fumes wafting off of it. I can't wait. These are almost 100% leftovers. I have some sauteed bok choy and carrots. Those were sauteed with a little bit of garlic and ginger. And then I like to mix in a little bit of miso with those just to give it some like actual flavor, which is lovely. I cooked some purple sweet potatoes that a friend of mine dropped off at her house the other day. Her husband like picks up all of the sweet potatoes that they can't sell, like the ugly ones. And then instead of feeding them to pigs, he feeds them to us. So I really appreciate that. <laughs> and then I have some leftover cheesy potatoes, which I posted the recipe on my Instagram. Definitely go grab that recipe if you want to try the vegan cheesy potatoes. They're pretty freaking phenomenal. And then I have some black beans as per my usual recipe, topped with just a little bit of red onion for an extra bite. This will be my beautiful, hefty, dinner tonight and uh, I'm really looking forward to it and it, might I just say it has been lovely to be back vlogging with you wonderful folks I hope you all enjoy it I hope you all are at home if you can be and you're staying safe and taking really good care of yourselves and using this time to lift yourself up a little bit and maybe even make better choices for yourself because no one's gonna do it for you so take really, really good care, you guys. It's good to be back. I'll see you all soon. Bye. Oh, and enjoy this three minute clip of almond licking bananas. Okay, bye. Almond. Hi, almond. Almond.
quite what I was going for. So since the last time we saw each other, I did hack my own hair off again. <laughs> Although Levi helped me with the back, and then he cut it crooked. I won't be having him do that again. 